Place your left hand right in the diaphragm of the chest. Right hand over it in this manner. Bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat the prayer after me, but repeat it in silence. O oh Allah, make Muhammad successful here in the wilderness of North America. And make the true follower of Muhammad successful too. As thou didst make Abraham successful, and the true followers of Abraham successful. Surely thou art praised and magnified in our midst. O Allah, bless Muhammad here in the wilderness of North America. Bless the true follower of Muhammad too, as thou didst bless Abraham and the true followers of Abraham. For surely thou art praised and magnified in our midst. Amen. May be seated, please. In the most holy name of Allah, the all-wise, true and living God, not a dead God, but a true and living God. And in the name of his true servant, and more surely, his last and greatest messenger, our beloved leader and teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. My beloved brothers and sisters, we are a blessed people today. We are blessed because we are the chosen people of God. So teach the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We are blessed because we are here today in the same city with God's last messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We're a blessed people, and which he will be here in a few minutes. Let us go here to the book of Genesis of the Bible. Here in the book of Genesis, it speaks of a promise that God is making with Abraham. And he promised Abraham that his children, his seed, and his offspring would be strangers in a land that is not there. And they would serve uh, these strangers. What they? Abraham's offspring. Abraham's children. Would serve these strange people for 400 years. And we bear witness that we are in a strange land. And we have been servants to a strange people. A people who have not appreciated our work. Them. Or strange people who have lynched us, strange people who have destroyed us, or strange people who have lied to us. Think over that. We're in that land. We were supposed to serve them for 400 years, but we're a little over 400 years now. So teach messenger Elijah Muhammad. But God also promised Abraham, He said, That nation. America, whom they serve, will I judge. Thank over that. So therefore the God promised Abraham that he would come and judge that nation. And we bear witness today that we are now living in the judgment. So teach the honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the proof that all men to God Allah have arrived and raised one up in our midst. We have him before us. He is called the Lamb of God. And that one is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. In the scripture of 
good enrollment, 18 and 18. When God appeared to Abraham, to Moses, I beg your pardon, and he told Moses, he said, I would raise them up, a prophet, from among their brethren, like unto thee. In other words, I would raise up one just like you, Moses. He said, I will put my word in his mouth, meaning I will teach him, I will lead him, I will guide him like I'm guiding you, Moses. Do you understand? And we bear witness that Allah have raised one in our midst, like Moses, and that one is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But how was the God to come? He would come unobserved. As he said, behold, I come as a thief in the night. Think over that. Didn't say he was a thief in the night. He said, behold, I come as a thief in the night. Unobserved. And he would raise a messenger in that darkness. He came in darkness. He made his messenger in darkness. Now we know a donkey, uh, he can see the darkness. He can see his way out of the darkness. And he knows the darkness. And the messenger is to make a pathway for our people in darkness. Think over that. What is a path? A path is a way beaten or trotting by the feet of man or beast. Think over that. A made hard by wheels. A narrow road. A footway, of course, of any object following into air, or in water, or in space. A pathway is a course of life. A pathway is a course of conduct. A pathway is a course of procedure. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad today, he is making a path for God. He is making a crooked path straight. Think over that. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad is doing just that. Now in the book of Isaiah, 41st chapter of Isaiah, the God speak of raising up his messenger. And he said when he raised that messenger, he said, I will put my spirit on him. I will put my wisdom in him. I will put my knowledge in him. And I will put my understanding in him. And he will give the judgment. Thank you for that. So after Allah's messenger, praise is due to Allah. After Allah's messenger, the honorable Elijah Muhammad, we don't look for another one. What else can another one do? You don't see nowhere in scripture where it's prophesied of one coming after Elijah. Elijah is called the seal of the prophet. Think over that. Elijah is the last one to appear just before God. Think over that. he wants to lead the people out of the spiritual darkness into the light of the marvelous truth. Thank you for that. Elijah must first come according to the Jesus. The Jesus didn't say he was coming back. He said Elijah must first come. The Jesus bore witness with Malachi. Thank you for that. The last book in the Old Testament, Malachi 4 and 5. He said, Behold, I will send you Elijah. What was the purpose of Elijah? Elijah's job is to come and turn the hearts of the people who have been turned away from their own people. His job is to turn his heart back to his own people. And his job is to turn his heart from his people back to them. And that is the work the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is doing today. turning the hearts of the black man in America to the black man in Asia and Africa. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is the only black man in America that the black man in Asia and Africa recognized as a leader. That's all about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Let us go just 
see here in the book of Matthews again, book of Malachi, I beg your pardon. We only have four chapters in the book of Malachi. What does this four chapters represent? This four chapters represent the 400 years that we will spend here in the hells and wilderness of North America. Thank you for that. Now here in the book of Malachi, chapter 3, it says, Behold I. Who is this I? This I here is God himself. This I here is the same one that met Moses in Egypt land. Thank you for When he introduced himself to Moses, he said, I am who? That I am. Huh? The Lord God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Thank you for that. That's what he told him he was. He said, I am a jealous God. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thank you for that. Here in Malachi, third chapter in the first verse, it says, Behold I, meaning the same I, God himself, will send, not have sent, but will send my messenger. Not the people's messenger, but God's messenger. Anytime you have a messenger in your midst doing what the people want done, that is not God's messenger. That's the people's messenger. But when you have a man in your works doing what God wants done, then that's God's message. Think over that. He said, and he shall prepare the way before me. He is to make a path before the coming of God. Let us see how wide the path that Almighty God, Allah's messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, is making. Mr. Elijah Muhammad's arms reach way down in the British Honduras. He has 43,000 acres of land in the British Honduras. He has firm land in Michigan. Some land in Georgia, some land in Alabama, have universities throughout the country, Everson universities. There's a man who did not attend the white man's university, but he's sitting at universities all over the country. Think over that. He said Elijah is to prepare the way before him. He didn't say Moses would come and prepare the way. He didn't say Jesus would come and prepare the way. He said Elijah would prepare the way before him. And those whom he seeks shall suddenly come to his temple. Thank you over that. Come to his temple. Didn't say come to his church. It's a temple. Even the messenger of the covenant. What covenant? What is a covenant? A covenant is an agreement. A covenant is a promise. The covenant here was the covenant that God made with Abraham over in the land of Canaan. Thank over that. He is called the messenger of the covenant. It said, but who may abide in the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire. He means he will have to clean the people up. He will have to make the people ready for God. A people who have been made other than ready for God by the enemy of God, the devil, the white man. So Messenger Elijah Muhammad today is making the pathway for God. He is cleaning us up to meet our God. Messenger Elijah Muhammad is to lead us face to face with God. Whatever a prophet or messenger leads you face to face with God, there's nothing else another one can do. Messenger Muhammad is the seal of the prophets. Never in the past have we known where a prophet converted the people. They never did convert the people. The prophets of old predicted that the God would come. And when the God would come, the last messenger with him would be called the right hand of God. And we bear witness that the right hand of God is in our midst today in person of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Thank you. Thank you for that. He was to make a path through all of the afflictions of the other prophets. He was to show up the other prophets' weakness. The old prophets were the only ones. This one, Muhammad today, teaching, after you listen to him, you become a new man. He changes the people. The old prophets did not destroy the ways of the people, we're thinking. But after Elijah's teaching, because his teaching is like that. Die which brings out of the material. The die have the picture of what we want to mold and bring out of the image of 
up in material. Think over that. Listen, your Muhammad is molding the people into a pathway to meet their God. And he will be with us in a few seconds now. And we thank Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Messenger Elijah Muhammad today is teaching us the knowledge of ourselves. Yeah. We're a people who's without the knowledge of ourselves. Yeah. Messenger Elijah Muhammad today is teaching us the theology of man. Yeah. Think over that. Do you want to see him? Yeah. He will be here in a few minutes. Our leading teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Messenger Elijah Muhammad has been working hard in our midst with 100% odds against him, both black and white. Think over that. But nevertheless, Messenger Elijah Muhammad is overcoming his enemy. As the scripture said, and Malachi said he would sit as a refiner. Didn't say he would work as a refiner. He would work as a refiner. He would run as a refiner. But he would sit as a refiner. Sit where? At 4847 South Woodland. Thanks over there. And bring in what? A new world. Thanks over there. Just his will come to pass. Think about that. Just the will of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He had farms he'd never been on. Have farms he'd never seen. Have universities that he'd never been in. Think over that. But still, his will is coming to pass. That's proof that that all about to God Allah is with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We will see him in just a few seconds now. Our leading teacher will be with us. And we thank Allah for giving this great man to us. He is the boldest black man in America today. He is the wisest black man in the world today. In other words, the wisest black man in the world besides God himself. All praise is due to Allah. Forgive him to us, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He has temples all over America. He even have temples down in Mexico. Thanks over there. Have temples even over in England. Have followers here. Have followers in Asia and Africa. Messenger Elijah Muhammad is not just an ordinary prophet. Messenger Elijah Muhammad is a universal messenger. Thanks over there. All praise is due to Allah. In the Jesus prophecy of the Alabama Elijah Muhammad. how you feel. I'm, I'm afraid you may say to me, how do you feel? And I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. You may be seated. You know, I have to take my time. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Jesus, according to the Bible, he never did have many people. And the Savior told me that he never had over 30 at one time. So all of those thousands of people that you read of, uh, that uh, he was feeding and, and all like that, I didn't get that from our Savior's mouth. So I think it must be me. Why, I am blessed with more people to listen to me than the devil himself. Yeah. You 
You know the devil always carries the people, but if I keep on being increased by Allah, you'll see us in the soldier field pretty soon. Well, we went visiting New York once, here not so long ago, and so there we got into about the biggest area they would let us have at that time. But however, uh, we intend to visit New York again. So we had, like the Jesus, that little small Calvary uh, hill, well, we, we would have to send over somewhere else for another hill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's near 4th of July, and people is getting off from work to have a big day, and I say, it's all right with us. They have that big day. They've been having a big day. What we would like to have is a little big day for ourselves. Very beautiful when you look from here. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> look like to me, I heard one of my hard working brothers. <laughs> and if he's here, I should give him something to do. because he would feel lonesome without doing anything. <laughs> As the Lord said to Abraham, take a look, Abraham. You see, whether or not you can count the sand down there on the seashore. <laughs> Look up, Abraham, and see if you can count the stars <laughs> above your head. He couldn't count either the number no place. He said, Abraham, that's the way thy seed shall be. You can't come. So you know you were looking like I had to stand here a long time to try to count you. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Oh yes, I must must say this uh, that my wife I checked out with her before I left home. And uh, she's doing much better. <laughs> and the doctor brought me her x-rays. We went over them. Not this morning, but last evening. And according to the way the first looked to me, I think she's doing fine. <laughs> so, we talked with each other this morning, and I know her voice was sounding good, 
and I told them that Allah is a mighty fine doctor. I'm not in no big hurry today. Because you can't tell me. I know you're not going to wait much more. I know you're going to be home sitting down. So why not sit down here and let's talk it over? You know one thing that I think about every time I come out here? How we was last at holding meetings and some of the worst places in the city. And I don't care how much we would beg our brothers, they look at us and laugh. Just think over there. They would look at us and laugh. Sponsor laugh. As good as to say, what I look like helping you. Don't want to help you. I want to help destroy what you are teaching. So today, all of a sudden, Allah pushed us right up. Now we have the finest temple, church, whatever you want to call it, of any black group in the country. There is no black group have as fine a temple or church as we have. <laughs> Those are your friends of the devil. That's right. I said it right. I'm putting it on this board over here. All white people is devils. I don't you may think some is good. Some is better than others. But that don't remove the very nature of it. He's still a devil. There's a little small snake that is very dangerous. There's a little small snake that is not dangerous. But it's not his fault. Nature just didn't make him that dangerous. But you can see in his little eyes and his actions that he wished he was a bad snake. <laughs> oh yes, sister, that's right. That's right. I'm trying to teach you the knowledge of that snake. Don't you trust none of them. All is bad. Rob us of our wealth. Rob us of our freedom. Rob us of our justice. So, after all of that robbing, look like should be enough. No, that wasn't enough for him. He robbed you of the knowledge of yourself. <laughs> Any man that is robbed, or uh, that a robber rob him of the knowledge of self, is the worst robbery that you could have. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take my time today. <laughs> Thank you.
because I know you don't have nothing to do tomorrow, but... <laughs> so if you get too tired, go out, walk around and come back. Because I want to talk with you. I want to teach you that which you never dreamed that you would hear. And since you don't have so much work to do tomorrow, let's stay around and talk to each other a little while. From the looks of this place, we have uh, around near 2,000 people in it. And I don't want them to go away not empty handed, <laughs> but empty brainy. That apron I told you to put around over there. You should have an straight leg over there running across in front of you. What are you typing, sister? Are you typing something or are you taking down what I say? Hmm? You're taking down what I say? Now be careful now, don't I be saying something about you and you, will you take that down? <laughs> you know the Bible, this is not true. You know the Bible says that there uh, are Delilah was a terrible, tricky woman. She tricked Samson going and coming. And Samson was so foolish to let her trick him. She says to Samson, Oh, Samson, where lies your strength? That was enough for Samson Samson to not to be foolish. If she was so anxious to find out where his great strength lied, he should have been so greatly smart to never tell her. Especially when she was not one of his people. Then he would try to see was not she putting one over and found out she was. Then he'd go right back and let her trick him again. <laughs> you are some modern Samson. Please, brother, do not let Delilah's sister, the sender, trick you like that. They are false making love with you. They don't love you. Only for the father like they are headed for. Yes, sir. Read that when you go back home and study it good. Yes, sir. This means a modern sample yes, and a modern Delilah. Yes, She's out there just looking at you, winking her blue eyes yes, at you, only for fire to wink you into hell. They don't love you today any more than they loved you yesterday. But they want to get you to go to hell. Believe it or not. Well, I guess we 
வேற கெட் பேக் கிட்ட போயிருக்கேன் Look as though my boy wants some company so bad as I moved up here near me. <laughs> Somebody got to take down what I say and leave off saying so I'll know what I said. I started painting it back on the tape recording machine before I left home, but still I didn't get everything in order. We have, I think, uh, recited quite a bit of the front of this boy, and I think you just about know what we have been teaching on this boy here. You have been told the meanings of the American flag. her striped stars and blue background on her stars which you think represents the star oh no and the flag over to the right with her red background and her star and moon what do that mean mohammed yeah the upper we are hit the night you should know what they mean <laughs> and with that uh f j e on i don't have no letters over here on the left of the american flag but we know what these stripes and stars represent But over here to my right that's so beautiful over there. <laughs> Think about it. That if I would tell you I don't want that flag I'd rather have this one. I would be making a fool of myself. <laughs> Because you could easily tell me whether you like it or not you on it. and that you wish it there's no fool even as much that don't wish it to sun moon and star and if he turn it down then he's telling other than the truth he do love that flag he look for the sun to rise every morning And if a night passes him by, he can't see a star nor a moon. He will go crazy. <laughs> But they can take and shoot up, tear up the stars and stripes representing America's flag any time, <laughs> because he's going to live under that star and that sun and that moon. No one can tear that up. <laughs> But the gods. that moon was blasted to pieces once and the gods that blasted the pieces can make another one <laughs> but america can't make another one <laughs> we had to make that for her represents death <laughs> on nandos hill stands an old rugged cross <laughs> if he call his own sign of his religion a ugly name why should you and i take it <laughs> you know it can almost make you sick to hear our people going raging over that cross <laughs> and there is one just opposite of it that the devil made for them hanging among a tree 
the same thing. You must remember that you have been made double blind, deaf and dumb. <laughs> Just the idea that a people will fool you that far to make the sign of his own wait that he killed your Jesus that you were so crazy about. Just think over that. Now he made you a martyr over there on the real tree. Isn't that something? It's terrible. It's awful. Well, we have time. So we have explained this to you last week and week before last. And then we ask you a question. Which one will survive? The war of Anakin. And if this cross can survive Armageddon, okay, then where will you have a moving star? If the devil can destroy that flag over there and become master over you, to set up his cross as the standard flag of the universe. Where will you get light from? Ah. We must remember these things. Now we're going to do a little more figuring where we left off. Yes, that's all right. So we was working on, I think, I think this number six, what we were working on. <laughs> so we're going to work on it, continue. Yes, sir. Uh, you've forgotten. Oh, <laughs> I have forgotten what we work on here at this point. And I'm going to try to get it, get it uh, again. Coming in to you this afternoon with six. <laughs> we want to teach you the knowledge of the science of six. <laughs> so therefore we're coming in with it this afternoon. And uh, this six here was made in the very beginning of creation, of time. This was the number which was called time. When it was made somewhat about six trillion years. Remember that. Six trillion years from the beginning. We have in time now such figures 
as uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and the zero counts for nothing until something is put there with to make it something. As you may <coughs> look, we got six over here, and we got a zero here. Now that zero counts for nothing. <laughs> Unless you put something besides that zero to make something out of it. <laughs> that you mean that in all of your figuring here up to nine, there is nothing with, to that unless you take one of these figures between nine and zero and put it beside zero. If you put a, a figure on either side here, you make something out of this, right? You can put it on this side and it counts for ten. And you put it on that side, it counts for one ten, right? <laughs> Okay, then it's not very much. <clears throat> I'm not making fun. I'm only trying to bring you in reality. Just so, brothers, I'm not making fun. If I was a man to make mock of you, God would not have chosen me. <laughs> so we got here, one besides nothing, and made this nothing become tenfold. <laughs> okay, if we put it on this side, we still don't have much, right? There's a fraction on that side, yes, sir. and on this side, there's a whole number. Yes, sir. Okay. So Allah came, and he came on this side. We was in here, nothing. So he came and got behind us. Understand? And by his number one self getting behind nothing, it made nothing tenfold more valuable. <laughs> We say that we are in this figure here, nine. We got then up to nine going forward, right? Yes, Not backing up. We got it forward. And then if we reach up here and grab this old big old nothing, look what it means. I know you know mathematics. I'm only just trying to show you where we were. <laughs> if our father was uh, made on the number one, how did he get that figure when that uh, had not been any more on the earth or in the universe before his creation? How did he become one? Hmm? We just only one to build up ourselves so that we may know who we are, how we got to be who we are. Yes, if Atom was one, could it have been one? Huh? <laughs> We're taught that an Atom is one ten thousand of one. Right? <laughs> if it's one ten thousand of one, certain parts of it, elements of it, then <clears throat> How did our father get up all those other parts to become one part? I'm only driving at points. 
I am not saying to you that I am trying to be no God over you. I am just trying to be that which he made me. <laughs> but if the universe Ah, uh, the darkness of the space before life was created in it. What was in that particular space that could produce life? We are uh, scholars and scientists. We attack each other. Yes, sir. That's what makes us no more. We attack each other. And then if you can't answer to what you attack with, too, okay, then something is wrong. We go back again after you. And ask you then, what did we mean when we said space? How could there have been space? My subject is theology of time. So many people think we are fools because they don't believe in Islam. And that is due to them not having the knowledge of what Islam is. Islam is not only your religion and my religion, but Islam is and should be respected as the religion of everybody because of what it means. When you laugh at Islam, you're laughing at the creation of the wisdom of God. So from this on, please do not laugh at God's wisdom when you are trying to survive by it. Don't do that. He's ready to strike out of his universe everyone that now don't like it. As long as Satan was ruling, he let you pass up. As the Bible teaches, that he winked at ignorance once upon a time. But now he called us to actual facts now. We must give account of that that we know and that we don't know. That we don't know, we got to give account of our actions against that. Well, brothers, I told you I was in a hurry. Now, if we see one emerged out of all of this darkness, what force of power in the darkness brought it out? One could not have come out of darkness unless force was in the darkness to bring it out. <laughs> in the universe now, there is a uh, force in the universe that moves seemingly uh, unmovable stuff. After so long and so long, the star which we saw here at this point has moved over here to another point. And if that star moved over here to another point within 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years or 1,000 years, force made it to move. It could not move alone. So this teaches us, brother, you go back and get your sanctus, and I will uh, contend with him, and he will contend with me, that the force of the actual space seemingly looking as though it's nothing is moving to bring us object, <coughs> objects that is hidden in it to our view. We don't wind up the universe like that and tell us to bring uh, Jupiter over to us. No, Jupiter is moving by force. It's already out there. 
a kitten, <clears throat> we don't set to a star that is a uh, hundred trillion years probably back out there to come out and show us yourself. The already force is out there going to bring us to our view. Yes. So we have these things in space just by view. And now, brothers, I don't want you to pass so many baskets around. The brothers is getting broke. Fourth of July is coming up. And I want them to have some money next Sunday, too. <laughs> This one here was already here in this dock. Yes, but nothing did not give it to us until the time brought it about. Yes, then when the time brought it about, it merged out here in our view into a, a revolving life. Yes, sir. Life revolving. <laughs> That was hidden here in the dark. We don't know how many trillions of years it was there. But it was there. Now, with a fine atom of water out there with it, or uh, made itself out of atom of water that it found in the darkness of the universe. We could not see life emerging out of the space without water. Because we can't produce life without water. So therefore there was some water out there in that darkened world. Space. And so now, this space, have produced us life, but how long was that life out there before it produced us a form? See, you calculate on how long life takes to make one atom. This is where it's understood. But you and I being dead over here in North America, for so many years, and North America's been dead so many thousands, and the space over North America so many thousands, that we can't calculate the actual time only by the instruments that we have now that we can calculate time from. Then we say, we estimate then so long and so long. Are you understanding? <laughs> if you want to ask questions, I'm fixing it up so you can ask questions. But remember, in your qu asking questions, they must be intelligent questions, <laughs> not foolish questions. We don't have that kind of time to wait. If one emerged out of this black darkness and put the black darkness moving with instruments that this black darkness can count itself in the clear of calculating on time. This is a wise God. Right? <laughs> Don't play with him. No, no, sir. So just imagine that we are, this darkness here, we are looking at it in space. And here is one came out of space, out of that black darkness. How did he produce himself to talk, walk, preach and sing? What is earth made out of? Since that 
Wait a minute, brothers. I don't want you to think I'm crazy. The earth is a ball of look like finely ground stone. Right? Then it have great stones supporting that little fine stone. What did God mean other than his people when he said, can you count the grains of sand on the sea showed Abraham? Now, the number of his people could not be counted. But why did he point out this sand on the seashore? It was not just because that Abraham could not count the sand. But Abraham must learn whose gigantic meal ground those sand down there. Somebody put them down there. They're beautiful. And someone made them. He could ask Abraham that after Abraham had known the sand the grains of sand down there. He could ask him that, who made it like that? But Abraham was far from being that type of mathematic, mathematician, pardon me, to be able to calculate on how many grains of sand that had been made down there on the uh, seashore. But let us go back to what we start. Here we have, we're dwelling with a figure which uh, will lead us into unimaginable figures. One and a six. These two figures here is the outstanding figures that we have. One of them represents the God that created the heavens and the earth. And the other one represents the same, the six. How is that done now, Mr. Smarty? Maybe you would say. He didn't stop growing, so he growed into uh, the scientific knowledge of six. And when he got into the number six, he still had a puzzle. We didn't know how to overtake him then. Because this was, this six came six trillion years after this. And we can't hardly count into 6,000 years. <laughs> so now we say we have six trillion years from the year one. You know, my followers, brother, when I say a thing, they go do that. <laughs> they heard me talking about a straight cross in front of the sisters. So now they got it over there. Yes, sir. <laughs> Now, you have this one and this six here dealing with the beginning of creation. And that uh, since we are working in the judgment time, we want to carry along much to get you into the knowledge of the time. Who can draw this uh, 
mother's flame. You have forgotten her? Was it Lydia? Mother's flame. No, sir. I have forgotten her. Okay, if you have forgotten, I'm going to run you out of here when we're through. <laughs> <laughs> I will get back up here. Come on, Joe. <laughs> I want to carry you along, if you will have patience. <laughs> Not like J Moses was by the man he went in search of knowledge with. So the wise man told him he would not be able to go along with him. That uh, He would uh, not be able to do it. So they went, traveled down towards the junction of the Nile. And uh, Moses could not go along with him on nothing without asking him why you do that. Until finally, he got uh, to the junction, and then he explained to Moses why he did that. And so, Moses learned from his guide that he was the best guide. If he had just kept his mouth in trying to teach the guide instead of the guide teaching him. So since that we are traveling on Yakub history, uh, we think it's good to take along a little something every now and then to show you the destruction of his history, his people. It is pretty sad that a father, after producing his son, then look at his son and Tell him the end of it. Tell him the end of himself. It's pretty sad to do that. Since America has invented many dangerous and destructive weapons to destroy the original black man from the face of the earth, he end there. God have already prepared a destructive weapon for him. <laughs> this is something that you have read of, but you didn't know what it was. The Bible is a very good book to study if you understand. <laughs> But when you don't understand, Allah don't let you stay into the darkness of ignorance to the truth that is in it. He raised up a man in that people and gave him the knowledge of that which they don't have the knowledge of. So you're lucky. This is the man that he loved you so well that he raised up one of you and myself to teach you that which have been prophesied by prophets to understand it. While you may be just guessing at it. up on your outer line. Make your outer line heavier, brother. It's too dim, your outer line. Then your 
a large earth picture there should be cut down into just about that. You got it up there, even with your uh, with your plane. The earth should be made just half. There's a small corner down there. Small. Yeah, because you got it too close. To So we want to carry along a little bit something with uh, right in there. The thing of it, this should have been moved way up high. You could have erased my, uh, my letters there. So you could have erased my figures. Then that uh, wheel should have been moved up high. But since that you didn't, so we don't have time now to wait. Yeah, make your borderline. Make your borderline, brother. Make your borderline of the wheel a little larger so it can be seen. I wish I could hold a steady hand, my brother. I can't draw a circle so good because I can't hold my hand that steady. We want you to know what's going on and we'll come on. <laughs> I'm far from being that man that just want to teach something to be seen and heard. <laughs> the work is too hard to show off with it. Take your opening over here to your left and not over there. You, sh you should have had that earth over there on th this side in this corner and very small, not be very small. For 40 years, brothers and sisters, I have been doing this, not above it, brother. Brother, 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 you that's drawing this way. Come here, brother, minister. Don't bring that earth out clear. Just have it in the corner, I'm not showing you the whole thing. The brother, Years ago, I used to have him up to date with this. So, since Moses went off, you know, for a while, Here, brother, you come. Down here in the corner. You're, that's your earth, not up there where you wrote it. That's not the earth. The earth is in the corner. Yeah, that's your earth. Yeah, to the earth. You don't write big earth up there. Come out of that. Yeah, cut the earth out all together. No, you're, you're worried there. Yeah, cut that word out. Now I'll make your earth in that corner. Not too high, brother. 
take it square like that. Yeah. Now, now you don't write no earth up there now. No, you write, you draw the small plane coming down from the wheel up there. Yeah, out of that gap there. Coming down, you don't put it there. You just put where it, you just put where it been and take the corner here and cut it out for it, you know. And then you have a plane falling out of that uh, gap there. But your uh, gap is not made on the angle with the earth. No, right with that mark there would have been, but well, don't do that now. Just go ahead and make the plane out here in open space there. Right there where you put your, right where you put your Erase right there. Well, you didn't need to do nothing but make a mark and cross it. That's all you needed to do. Just made a mark and cross it. That would represent a, a flying plane coming to us. So brothers and sisters, I, that's a straight mark. My brother have forgotten the work I used to carry him over. So this makes me to believe now he's been off somewhere else teaching it other than the way I give it to him. Gotta be twice that long, brother, and then like this, like a plane, brother. I don't see how in the world you could forget. It. You don't make an error now out of it, just, just. These people know that we not got no planes that we can. directly to your, towards your earth and that you now need to bring your earth up to a better angle than that. We'll let you go home after a while. My brother, you know, he has not did this in a long time. And he's near forgotten. You see, those people way back there, they can't see that. You look like you're drawing nets and flies up here. You don't have to try to make a wing out of it, but just make a cross mark. Well, that's all right if you make a plane that quick, it's all right. Give me your plane. Yeah. Yeah, so sorry. You don't forgot to do this. Yeah, to try to get it right, so. See, this represents her. Yes. You see? You could just keep making marks. You don't have to make this perfect touch. This alone is. Yep, see, it's right. And you could have made it. See, the earth here is rough, see? Then you don't write it. Then you write it here. See? Very good. It's just written in earth down there, so now put something around here for there's no for You've got to put something there. Yes. Well, this is the propeller here. Yeah. Yes. 
Now, to make it long enough for the can see in there. Do you want me to uh, put it so that it takes a release of the bomb? Do you want me to put the bomb so that it's a release of the bomb to the point of What you got your plane in all that plane to the base here, see it? Yeah. Pardon me. Excuse me, brothers and sisters. My elder son has forgotten his duty. So I got to put him back on it. It is not the best, but we'll make out with it. See, you could make this race here a little more thicker. See, there's a brother sitting out there that wants to show you how to do this, so, and me too, so bad. So he'll join up with us today and he'll be doing this for us. Is this your bum? Get that, uh, should I make it a little better? Don't put no line on that one, brother. Yeah. Okay. 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 And then you make that where he's dropping from. Yes. Now you make the bomb now. Sorry. Now, yeah, this big space out of here. You make dots coming out. You've got to fill too much space. I'll make them big enough so they can see them. You know, brother, it is true that the teacher have a job trying to train students. She hates for them to make a shame in the presence of visitors. Is that right? Yes, sir. I know I do. Yes, sir. If, I, if the teacher uh, would bear me witness, she would say it's the same. That's about the ugliest wheel I ever seen going on. <laughs> That's right, brother. That's like the ugliest wheel I have seen from. I would erase all that wheel and just make me a new one. That's all right. That's all right. That's going to be such time. Well, I have a pretty steady hand, but <laughs> no, brother, you got it too, too far up, brother. Say. If I was you now, I would not put anything of the kind in it. I just put the the one uh, circle mark there and just open the gap there. And you go ahead. No, you make it, you make it open all the way back in. You don't close it up out on the edge. 
you don't you don't you don't put that in there, brother. You don't, you don't make no clothes up and out here. Yeah. You make it all the way through open. Don't cut it off there in this one. Right now. Well, I did check the center with uh, the motor in the Now, brothers and sisters, I reckon I had better start my mouth again. <clears throat> in the Bible, there you have a prophecy of a wheel in a wheel in the book Ezekiel. Come on, come on, now they're not stopping you. Keep making those dots around. Keep making the dots around. No, there. Don't represent, you know. That's right. If I have to take Brother home with my guests, teach him there, where well, I will have help. He used to could do this before we could get through talking about it. But he went off, I guess, and got mixed up with some bad company. That taken all of his uh, uh, thoughts away from the thing that is wavering around now. This represents that Ezekiel wheel you read of in the Bible. They actually have it up there. It's up there now. The devil knows it's up there. This, this is why he is continuing. I want him to be sure he hears it. To go up and make planes that can fly so swift that if he could discover it, in disguise, he would be able to get back to it to throw a rocket uh, in it before ever that he could move. He's making planes to search the space with the highest speed known to his sight. And this wheel in a wheel here, that Ezekiel speak, uh, prophesied of, that it got so high up in the air that it looked dreadful. This wheel is up in the air now. This is what they are trying to locate from the moon. If they could get a good stationary place on the moon and watch for this plane, they would drop that down on the earth. And that his height would be something about 20 miles above the earth when he dropped it. Not getting too far out of the atmosphere because he wanted to use the atmosphere to help guide his bum. So that this bum, when it strikes the earth, it will start right into the earth. It has a, a bum that is timed and that uh, it has a little motor to the bum. That when it strikes the earth, that motor automatically goes on and takes that bum one mile into the earth before ever it explodes. When it explodes, it set up a mountain one mile high. 
That's a powerful bump. <laughs> Allah taught me that that's the same type of bump that God used to make mountains on the earth. It's the same thing. It goes into the earth with a very speedy motor, taking it right on through like an air hammer. It don't dig out nothing, it just sucks, it sucks right on into the earth, like an air ha hammer, chiseling down into the earth. And when it gets its time to not explore until it gets a mile in the earth, they have in this bomb the type of of our uh, type of dental dental mice that they use to bring up the mountains of Everest mountain range. Powerful dynamite. It's uh, more powerful than America is using. America uses 30% dynamite. And <coughs> these people have their bombs equipped with 100% than a might today to bless just a few mountains across the continent of North America. Uh, and that these mountains pulling up out of the earth from that blast in a wave bomb, it will kill people for 50 miles around that crater it makes, pushing up a mountain on each side. And this will go into action when uh, America starts using her higher explosion, dropping it from there. This thing will come out and get her. They carry 1,500, or rather this plane carried 1,500 of these small bomb planes. Each one of those bomb planes carries three bombs, and these three bombs will take these bombs over an area of just what I said to everyone is dropping a bomb at, uh, to cover and to destroy for 150 miles where it was dropped. Excuse me for my lengthy time, but I want you to try and understand this and, and I want you to be looking out for it any day. I have seen that plane. This is no perfect drawing of it, but the brother did the best he could. That's a powerful plane it can dot in the skies just like you see what they call those wheel not wheel, those uh, uh, things that this fine saucer. Yes, right through the plane measures one mile. A lot of open plane. As I tell you, if you find me lying on what I tell you or he said, I'll give you ten thousand dollars out of my brother's vest pocket. And if he don't happen to have it, I will ask you to loan it to me, and then I'll pay you back. <laughs> I 
I see this. I saw this thing. This thing can move about into space so wisely until their way of trying to shoot them out of the sky. You never catch this one because there's a sanctus, more than a sanctus. I think the four or five on this plane. There's a, there's a half a mile by half a mile. And uh, this plane, you may see, look like up here. But it can dot out of your eyes sight so fast until it didn't look like nothing was there. You will see this plane one day. Because this plane have a civilization on it. They stay up there a year and sometime a year and a half. And that plane is a wonderful thing. Dreadful looking thing. I'm not trying to uh, deceive you. I'm trying to show you what you're going to see pretty soon. <laughs> I stopped drawing this plane for years, but now I think I should go back to it. Because they seem to be up there fixing it up to come near to the earth. When in America, think that she's going after this plane, she admits she saw it. Then those sanctions on that plane go to Washington and change America so that she can't come forward to the plane. She can't shoot it. Write in your paper if you want and tell him what I'm telling you. See if he'll try and deny it. They know it's up there. I sit down and I talk with them years ago about it. They ask me questions. They have the drawing. They have a whole blackboard up there that they've taken from us when they arrested us. Arrested us. And I had drawn the plane and wordings and uh, they taken it to the FBI's office. And there they have it there today. Because they knew this to be true, and they admitted to me that it's true. But I said to you, brothers, and the day when that thing is seen in the sky of America, make haste and run to some folks. There'll be two scientists on every Every two blocks, they'll be guiding you to tell you where to go. Everything has been prepared while we were sleeping to save us. That's that terrible thing, though. Those little dots there that you see that he made in that inner circle of the plane represents the motors great giant motors to carry this plane. Then, yes, <clears throat> well, that plane is like Jesus was. Jesus was a scientist. And he could tune in on you and I and tell what we're thinking on. And when the Jew would be planning to come to him, he's tuned up on him. He listened at him. If they said it go this way, he'd go this way. That's why they couldn't never catch it. He knew what the Jew was thinking about and knew what they was planning. Now to have one out of every hundred over there that can tune up on us over here to tell what we're thinking about. Think over there. We are pretty smart people. You can do it yourself 
if you will take time, clear your mind, and then go get to, into some place where no one will annoy you, and concentrate on nothing but that wheel or that brother. And after a while you hear what the brother is saying to himself. And maybe you hear the motor going on in the wheel. It is not that we are such people that we have to wait and see everything happen before we know what's going to happen. We would not be God if we did not know what was going on all around us among other than God. No. It is nothing strange if I had a few scientists and one or two may be in here, but he wouldn't know it. <clears throat> he bear me witness quickly. Yes. That uh, this is true. Ezekiel looked up at us and he says, Oh, wheel, wheel. The wheel was so mighty to him, to the man's imagination, that he cried out, Oh, wheel. Seen that dreadful thing up there in the sky, and I was so far in the sky, he said it looked dreadful. These things is going into action now pretty soon. The time is up for them to go into action. You and I being brothers, and with me walking around you day and night with the knowledge of these things and don't tell you, you will hold me responsible. So why didn't you tell me? I say, well, you wouldn't have believed it, no way. Well, why, why didn't you tell us anyway? Let us disbelieve. That wouldn't have been your fault. And that would be right. So I'm not going to let you come and tell me that. I'm going to tell you these things now. There is <clears throat> two certain places on our earth that I'm bound to tell you that I was not told to tell you, but since the time is here, just about right to drop that bum from that plane to destroy our enemies, I'm going to soon tell you, but there are two places on our planet has been made for the purpose of hiding people. And they can stay there a long, long old time, and you will never know they are there. It is not so secret that I shouldn't tell you, but I'm not going to say so this evening, tell you this evening, because I go home, and I will think over it, and I will ask the law, should I say this thing? that I reveal to them what you have revealed to me. That revelation of the end of the world and what will carry on the destruction of the people that is here now and do it and such way of surprise as the Holy Quran refers to it, each, even the earth will act like a revelation has been received by her. Well, these things is so to make known to this world that they are not the God over the other world. This is what these things is coming into being. Now, in my conclusion, I ask you to do this. Try and get out of the name of the white man as fast as you can. That is true there in that Bible, that the devil's name will be destroyed, be with it. And that God will give to you and me a name that will live forever. 
มาห้ามแบบไหนมาห้ามตัวบีเยอบิลีเยอตะกามมาเลยวิเอตก็ตัวหนึ่งเอสิทัพชาวบ้านเกรดมาก Three or four inches long, but he said we didn't need all of that name. So the names he gave to us much shorter than the old names that our people used to go in. This is, I think, what the Jews got some of their long names. They also have some long names in the Bible. So I said to you in my I just leave that like it is, brother. Don't erase it. I said, just leave it as is, but don't erase it. Leave it like that. Maybe one of Yakum boys will come in, and they'll look at it and fall dead. <laughs> So my beloved brothers and sisters of the most intelligent, active, that I can say that I had in the past, none to take your place. No. So God and I loved you so well that He sent me to tell you these things. Make God s out of you. This is just what it's for. Make God s out. You s a y "Oh, I know I will never be a God." Yes, you already is a God. So I thank you, thank you, and thank you. I know you don't have much money. None of us have much money. We were robbed of that by our enemies, the devil. But whatever you can spare us to keep building a safe and honorable place for you, please do so. We have in mind now. Of two fast jets, we want those two jets. A l o n g w i t h o u r ever begging for money to build a hospital. I just almost tremble when I see you out here fighting. The devil didn't go tell the devil to heat you. I want the place that your own people can work on you. Yeah. And if you will just follow me and give whatever you can, we will soon have these things. Think about it. If we have a million people here in Chicago, if they would only give us a dollar piece, we'd have a million dollars every week. And that we could, could build what we want without begging people for it. And if we just give half that much, we'd soon have the South Side owned by black people. Elijah don't want to own nothing personal. He wants something that he can divide with you. The only thing I want personally is my wife. So I'm going to dismiss myself. 
so that the brother minister can take over. I think he's getting hungry, and he wants me to hurry and get out of the way so he can get out of the way too. So I have enjoyed a brother time with a brother. With you. Yet this afternoon, a brother and a sister. I have enjoyed being in your presence, sister. Pray Allah that we'll be back here at 2 o'clock next Sunday. And if you can't find five, to bring back each of you. Just put two figures back of the five and bring the five hundred. My friends, it is uh, a lot of trouble that's on its way to America, and I don't want you to be the loser. America, her friends are gone from her and has become in. And they're all looking towards America with murder. Let's go and take her. Just like the Bible teaches you there in Ezekiel. Let us go up and rise up, take hold of her. Take her at noonday. Any time that she's not expecting us. This is what they're talking about. You thought Pearl Harbor was terrible, but Pearl Harbor would look like a gang of boys playing to what they fixed up with to come against America. It's dreadful to talk about, especially when you know it like I do. I know what the God planned to do to America. I know that. But I can't tell you all of these things unless you go and talk too much. So in the name of Allah, I pray that each and every one of you will go out of here happy and return home, find your family happy to see you on return as they saw you left. I thank you and hope to see you next Sunday evening. As I say unto you, I salam alaikum.